Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at using effects in Pixelmator. So effects allow you to make subtle or extreme changes in your image. So using a sample image here, let's turn on effects. Let's go into View, Show Effects. Now we can see the effects in the Effects Browser and we can look at them by category. So for instance, we want to take a look at the first category and we get simple blurs or we can create a cool blur with the image we're using. So let's just double click on Zoom here and look at the zoom blur effect. Now you can notice that a lot of these effects have this little point here where they activate. You could drag the circle around and it's kind of kind of got this neat uh, chain linked to the effect so you can uh, move this effect around and move the point where it reacts. So we can actually show the point there and then make adjustments to it adding more or less of the effect or making other changes. So I can make a very subtle change there uh, blurring out everything away from the girl's face or we could go and create a more dramatic one like that. Most of the effects work like this allowing you to select an, a point where it comes from and make adjustments to the effect itself. It's very easy to play with effects because you can simply be doing this and then hit cancel and the effect will go away. Or even hit OK to make the effect permanent and then just Command Z to undo and the effect is gone. Uh, so you can try different effects out very easily. So we can uh, go from that one and then go to another uh, effect, say the motion blur effect here. Uh, and then you can see in here there's no point where this activates but we can make adjustments here for uh, radius and the angle of the blur. So let's look at some other ones. Besides blur we can go into distortion say. And distortion allows us to do all sorts of bizarre types of things. So for instance uh, we could use pinch here and create an interesting pinch effect that pinches the image wherever we want it to and we can adjust the radius of the pinch and the scale of the pinch as well. So you can create very subtle effects um, with this. Uh, just small adjustments or you can create very massive things. Um, and you can likewise go in here and create other things like the whole effect here. Um, and put another image behind there in that hole that's created. A uh, glass ring for instance. Uh, and you can see you have lots of different types of things that you can do. Uh, you can create a glass effect and these types of effects affect the entire image and they don't work on a point. So you can see that there's no point there where this works on. So we can basically uh, adjust the glass as we want but it affects the entire image. Some of the most extreme effects are here in Stylize. And you can do all sorts of things in here like the crystal effect here uh, or uh, pointalize. and other, others like this. Now what's cool about effects is you don't have to apply it to the entire image. You can apply it to a selected area. So you can select a box or a circular area or in this case I have traced the outline of the person in this photo here and I can apply the effect to just her. So you can see I use pointalize there and I could apply it to just her creating a neat effect in there. Now in this case what I may want to do is actually apply it to everything but her. So I can do that by going uh, to Edit and then I can invert the selection here. And now when I apply it you can see she's sharp and uh, from the original photo and everything else now is changed by the effect. So you can create all sorts of cool images using that. Blurring everything else out. Uh, you can go to the color adjustments for instance and uh, change the, the brightness of the background and leave her in stark contrast to that. So there's all sorts of cool things that you could do by only applying an effect to a certain area of the image. The generator effects are some interesting things that allow you to actually create new things in an image. So for instance uh, we can create a sun here with a sunbeams generator. Um, we can also create cool halo effects. Let's move that aside here. and We can put that in there and adjust all sorts of different parameters for it. And there's all sorts of things to choose from and experiment with. Uh, the random generator actually fills with lots of random dots which allows you to do some interesting things. And you can also uh, create these on new layers as well. So I can uh, simply create a new layer, make it an empty layer, uh, and then when I 
view the layers, I can see these two and I could fill this one say with clouds there. And you can see I've got the two layers. Let me put the clouds behind this layer. Let me select this layer and make it semi-transparent there. So I've combined the two layers, the clouds and the background layer, which is the original layer we had uh, to create kind of a fog effect. So that's really just scratching at the surface of what you can do with effects. There's a lot of different things here. It's a creative tool. So what you want to probably do is take some images and play around with the different effects. See what you can discover or if you have a certain image an idea in mind just play around, use the undo function, save various copies of it and come up with something that you like. Uh, it will take some time but you can have a lot of fun while you try to create something cool. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.